So this set of slides is about measuring economic performance. And in this presentation, we are going to explain the difference between nominal and real GDP. We are going to look at the calculation of nominal and real GDP. And we are going to look to compare and use nominal and real variables. So here we have the production chain that we showed in the previous video where we looked at how bottled honey was produced and sold to consumers at 12,000 Rand. So if there were 300 bottles of honey and it was sold for 12,000 12, Rand in total, it means the price per bottle was 40 Rand. So let's say that next year 300 bottles of honey is again produced but now the price is 50 Rand. So that means that 15,000 Rand will be the total price at which this product is sold to consumers. But has production actually increased? Looks like it because the value added to GDP is larger, but we know that only 300 bottles of honey were still produced. All that is different is the price at which it was sold. So distinguishing between nominal and real variables will enable us to take out the effect of the increase in prices. So here we show the total number of bottles of honey that was produced in 2018 in the table. And the price of the honey was 40. So the nominal value of GDP is equal to 300 times 40, so 12,000 Rand. Then in 2019, 300 bottles of honey was again produced, but now sold at a price of 50 Rand. So if we now again calculate the nominal value of GDP for 2019, we can see it is 15,000 Rand. So it looks as though GDP has increased. But now if we look at the real value of GDP, we are going to use 2018 price of 40 Rand to calculate the real value of GDP for both years. So if we calculate three, 300 times 40, we can see that for 2018, the nominal value of GDP and the real value of GDP is exactly the same. And that is because it is the same quantity and the same price. But if we look at the real value of GDP in 20 19. In other words, we use the quantity that was produced in 2019, but the price at which it was sold in 2018, we can see that the real value of GDP for 2019 is 300 times 40 is 12,000 Rand. So we can see that GDP has not really increased. So that is why we use real values instead of nominal values when we want to measure whether there was an increase in production. So let's look at a larger economy. Here we have an agricultural economy that produces mainly agricultural products. So maize, wheat, vegetables and beef. Only those four products are sold or produced in this economy. And maize is 500 tons, was produced in 2018, and the price was 300 rand a ton. 400 tons of wheat was produced, and the price was 400 rand a ton. 300 tons of vegetables was produced at 600 rand a ton, and 500 kilograms of beef was produced at 1,000 rand a kilo. 
So if we now calculate the nominal value of production of maize in 2018, 500 times 300 gives us 150,000. The nominal value of wheat that was produced, 400 times 400 gives us 160,000. The nominal value of vegetables that was produced, 300 times 600 is 180,000. And the nominal value of beef that was produced is 500 kilos times 100 rand a kilo gives us 50,000. So if we add all these different nominal values that was produced for 2018 together, the total nominal value of production in 2018 is 540,000 rand. Now we look at quantities that was produced in 2019. Now let's say there was a drought and production of all the different products decreased. Less maize was produced, less wheat, less vegetables and less beef was produced than in 2018. And due to the scarcity of these products, the prices have now increased, so the price of maize has increased to 400 rand a ton, the price of wheat has increased to 500, the price of vegetables is now 700 rand a ton, and the price of beef is now 200 rand a kilo. So if we now calculate the nominal value of production for 2019 of maize, this 400 times 450 tons that was produced is equal to 180,000 rand. If we look at production of wheat, 500 rand a ton was the price and 300 tons of wheat was produced. So the total nominal value is 150,000 rand calculate the total nominal value of vegetables 200 tons times 700 rand gives us 140,000 rand beef 400 times 200 rand a kilo gives us a value of 80,000 rand so the total nominal value of production for 2019 is all of those added together and that gives us 550,000 rand so we can see that it looks, if we only look at the nominal values, that more was produced in 2019 than in 2018. But of course we know that that is actually due to the increase in prices as the amounts that were produced are now less in 2019 than it was in 2018. So in order to see if the real value or the real increase in production, we have to use fixed prices and we are going to use 2018 prices. So the prices that we are going to use to calculate the real values are these 2018 prices. So that means for 2018, the real value will be equal to the nominal value because these are the same prices. Now if we want to calculate the real value of maize that was produced in 2019, we take the amount that was produced in 2019, 450 tons, multiplied by the price in 2018, 300 rand, that gives us 135,000. We look at the, three, the real value of the 300 tons of wheat that was produced. We multiply it by 400. That gives us 120,000 rand. 200 tons of vegetables multiplied by the 2018 price of 600 gives us 120,000. And then the 400 kilos of beef that was produced multiplied by the 2018 price of 100 gives us 40,000 rand. So if we add the real value 
of production in 2019, it gives us 415,000 Rand. So now we can see that the amount, the value that was produced in 2018 is actually more than the value that was produced in 2019 if we use fixed prices. So we can see that real value has not increased but has decreased and we actually knew that because we knew the amount that was produced. So we can see that the real and the nominal value of GDP for 2018 is the same because we are using the same prices and the same quantities. But if we compare the real value production in 2019 to the nominal value in 2019, the real value is much lower. And that is because we are now using the 2018 prices. We're using the same quantities, but to calculate the nominal value, we use the 2019 prices. And to calculate the real value, we use the 2018 prices. So if we look at GDP at current prices, we call that nominal GDP, while real GDP is actually GDP at fixed prices. And real figures allows us to be able to determine if the physical amount of production changed and in what direction it changed.